Okay, in this video we're going to talk about a couple of different things. We're going to talk about cloning to get in Memory Manager 3 to get rid of something in a picture, an unwanted object or distraction in the picture. And we're also going to talk about how to do um, spot coloring in Storybook Creator. I know a lot of people do it in Memory Manager, but I prefer Storybook Creator. I think it's much faster and easier to do in Storybook Creator. Um, and that you, what it is, you turn, um, here's an example of it, you turn a photo sepia or black and white and you leave just one or two items in color. In this case I left the pacifier in color and everything else in sepia. Here's another example of um, my little dog. Everything is black or sepia, excuse me, except his blue eyes. When he was a puppy his eyes were blue, now they're not. But um, I wanted to leave those pretty blue eyes and show those and they look really blue against the sepia background. So anyway, first of all, let me tell you, if you need to get in touch with me and you're not one of my customers, if you have questions or whatever, um, you need to reach me. You can do so through my website at www.mycmsite.com forward slash Tammy Gillespie. I have a blog. If you're not watching this on my blog, um, the address is scrapperdiva.blogspot.com. I have a Facebook group, Tamla Scrapbooking Divas, where I have videos and pages I've done for examples. Um, there's a discussion board if you have questions. And um, I'd be happy for you to post some of your pages there, as long as it's Creative Memories content. That's all I allow on there. But I'd love for you to post some of your pages. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I also have a Twitter name, Scrap, Scrap, excuse me, Scrapper Diva. I'm having difficulty talking today. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go into Memory Manager and I'm going to show you how to clone. And this is the finished picture, but I'm going to go back. Um, I don't know if you know this or not, but this is a, an edited picture, but it always saves your original picture. And if you want to get to that original picture, you just right click on the arrow on the side of your picture right here and you do show original image. And I'm going to open that image. As you can see, I've got this rug here that I want to get rid of. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I just want to show you how to do it. You go to Touch Up and Clone. And when you get this drop down box, um, for the bigger areas, you're going to want to use a bigger size brush, at least a size 10. And you do Select a New Sample Point. And you're going to select a point kind of away from everything because you don't want to run into, in this case, the dog. You don't want to run into the rug because it's going to copy whatever this point touches. So kind of put it in the middle here of an area in the, the area that you want to copy. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to go in small circles and get rid of the rug. And as I start getting close to the dog, I'm going to hit that again and move my sample point. And just keep doing that. And then as you get over here near the belt, you're probably going to have to decrease your brush size just a little bit. And like I said, I won't make you wait while I do this whole thing. Um, that's, that's all there is to it. It's very easy to do. Once you're done, go back to the edited image. This is what it's going to look like. And it won't take you very long to do it for something like that. That's what you have left with. Okay, now I'm going to take that image and I'm going to put it into Storybook Creator. To do that, I'm going to do Share and Share Storybook Creator. Add images to a currently open Storybook Creator project. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Storybook Creator. Okay, over here, um, let's see if I have a blank page. Oh, okay, I've already got one with a completed picture on it. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to go to that picture. I'm sorry, I'm talking to myself. I'm going to take this picture and add it to the page. And what you want to do is make the picture pretty large so that you can see what you're doing. You can always make it smaller later. You need to be able to see how to cut out those eyes. And um, 
once you start cutting you don't want to move your picture because it'll be very hard to line something as small as these eyes up again with it so you need to put it where you want it and then leave it there until you're done okay I've got my picture enlarged and I'm going to go to the cut and fill tab first I need to flatten it then I'm going to go to the custom cutting tool and go to cut out a curved path because we're going to go be going around his eyes in a circular motion okay and then I'm just going to put dots around his little eyes and then we don't want to erase anything we want to keep the eyes so we do cut around the shaded area my computer is a little bit slow today I've got several programs open okay and I'm going to use a little eyeball to turn that off so his eyes missing and then I'm going to click on the picture again and I'm going to cut out the other eye and as you can see this is not very time consuming if you had uh, a larger object with a lot of um, indentations or you know it was in a strange shape it could take you some time but it's pretty easy okay once you have it like that like I said do not move it because you're gonna have to um, put those eyes back once you have it like this you go to the color tab make sure your picture is highlighted and I'm gonna make this one a sepia tone so I just click on it it's gonna take it just a minute okay now I think that's a little bit too dark sometimes when I do sepia I, I don't like the I don't like them to be really dark but that's just a personal preference if you want to lighten it a little bit go to brightness and light and I'm going to bring my midtones up to about an 8 and the shadows that will stop spinning I'm going to bring that up to about a 10 let's try that and see how it looks hit accept okay I like the way that looks so I'm gonna click on the little eyeballs put the eyes back make sure they're where they're supposed to be I'm gonna hold down my shift key and I'm going to click on the eyeballs in the picture or the eyes in the picture go to my arrange tab and I'm gonna click on group once they're grouped back together you can move your picture around do whatever you want to with it now if you don't take into consideration the cloning the spot coloring took me maybe one minute to do that it's very easy of course some are going to take a little bit longer as I said if you have a more complicated object but it's it's to me it's so much easier to do in storybook creator than it is memory manager but again that's just my preference okay um, again here is an, the example let me enlarge this a little bit so you can see of the one I did of my nephews leaving the pacifier and here is the finished page with my dog and you can see how when you made the page see, make the page sepia the blue eyes just really stand out against the background his eyes were blue but they just look really blue against that sepia background so that's kind of a cool thing to do um, if you have any questions feel free to email me at t gillespie that's t as in tom g i l l e s p i e 67 at aol.com you will need to put cm or creative memories um, or cm blog something in the subject line to let me know that it's a legit email if I get an email from somebody I don't know and it doesn't have something in the subject line that tells me that it's a legit email I will not open it so make sure you put that in there um, I'd love to hear from you if you have any comments you're welcome to go to my blog leave comments and um, I guess that's it so I hope you have a nice day I hope you enjoyed the video
and feel free to go to my Facebook group and post any of your pages there. I'd love to see what you do with these techniques. Thank you.